What up, I do? Welcome to the Premier Lounge video. Today we're going to talk about a beginner's guide to killing clover and any other weeds in your lawn. Now, the easiest way to control weeds in your lawn, and it's free and it doesn't take any chemicals at all, and that is to create the conditions that your lawn wants as opposed to the weeds. This lawn here, we haven't put any weed control on this lawn for over 12 months. This is the easiest way to control weeds in your lawn, is to create the conditions that you want for the grass as opposed to the weeds. Now, we do have some weeds that grow on the lawn. In around this tree here, we'll get some weeds coming in, because the weeds will always come in the places where the lawn is weakest. So because there's not a lot of light underneath that tree, we find that we'll get weeds coming in there. But we tend to just ignore them there, because they're not being a problem. But I'm going to show you different ways to deal with them. An easy way to kill weeds in your grass, and this is probably, good. we're going to start with the most obvious solution, is to use just a selective weed control and to spray them off. If you're enjoying this video, if you could smash that like button for me, subscribe for more videos like this. I post regular lawn care tips and tricks on bringing your lawn to the next level. Previously in this garden this year, we've done a video step by step, everything you need to scarify your lawn. We also did another very popular video on how to level a bumpy lawn. If you want to watch those videos, I'll leave the video links down in the video description. Before we begin, I want to say that clover can be very good in your lawn. You might have low and fertile soil. If you see clover growing on your lawn, the chances are it needs fed. What clover does is it pulls nitrogen literally out of the air and it breaks it down and it puts it out its root system. It puts out protein for other plants to grow and it creates chlorophyll that plants need for photosynthesis. But if you're watching this video, chances are you don't really want to know any of that. You just want to know how to control it. So let's get on with that now. Here's a method that your granny might have used. Now, some people would use vinegar and they might mix it up with some dishwasher soap. I'm going to give you two really good reasons why you shouldn't use it and a product that you should use instead that works off the same basis. Vinegar works as it is very acidic and it literally burns the leaves. But the problem with vinegar is it doesn't burn right down to the roots. It only kills the top of the plant and then after a few weeks, the roots start to grow and the plant grows and it comes back and a month later, you've got the weeds back again. Second problem being this stuff here, this is what I put on my fish and chips. It's not going to be strong enough. You'll see a lot of people recommending 20 or 30% industrial strength vinegar. The problem with that is it causes skin irritations. If you get it in your hands, if you get it in your eyes, you can go blind. Is it really worth going blind just to kill a few weeds? I don't think it is. Now, if you want to go down the road of acidic, a product that we use every spring, you'll see me use it on the channel, it's called Lawn Sand. Really easy to apply, it does three things. It'll kill the moss, feed the lawn, and it'll also do the same thing as what the vinegar does, and it burns the top of the weeds. Far, far better, easier to use. So if you want to burn the weeds with something acidic, use the sulfate of iron. Okay, I get a lot of questions anytime I say about killing clover in your lawn. People are saying, look, it's really, really good for the bees, and it is. If you want wildlife in your lawn, a bit of clover doesn't go amiss. You can eat it as well. Mmm, tasty, sweet. So you can put it in your salads. It doesn't mind being cut short, so that can work for you and against you. If you're cutting your grass all the time and you have clover in it, cutting your lawn, you're not gonna you're not gonna damage the clover. If you come to a dry spell, the clover stays nice and green. But I appreciate you're all here not to find out the benefits behind clover, you want to find out how to get rid of it. So let's get on with it. An easy way to control small amounts of weeds in your lawn is to take a spade or a knife and just to cut them out. So for smaller weeds like that one there, I'm just going to take a knife and dig it out. Obviously the downside to doing this is that you're putting holes in the lawn 
you have the potential of more weeds coming in if you don't fix those patches. So I'm going to show you a really quick, easy way to fix those patches. Otherwise, you'll find that you might get other weeds growing there in a very short space of time. We're just going to take some grass seed. This is normal grass seed, a couple of handfuls in the bottom of the bucket. A bit of compost, you could use topsoil. Today we're just using peat-free compost. A couple more handfuls of grass seed in there. Give it a good mix through. Whenever you mix the grass seed and the soil together, there's a far better chance of this growing. You can see the grass seed through the, through the compost. Your feet is enough pressure to dump that in. As you can see, that method works really well. Now, where it does fall down, if you have any deep roots like dandelions, they have a deep tap root. And if you leave any of that root in the soil at all, then it has the potential to grow back. So the next method I'm going to show you is a 100% surefire way of killing weeds. Now, just before going any further, just been leaning on this mat here. I'll leave a, a link down in the comment. I'll leave a link down in the, in the description where you can pick one of these here up. Really good if you're doing any weeding around and I've got really, really spongy there. They're designed to, to lean on any time I have to get down my knees. I've got too many miles in the clock these days, I'm getting too old. I need something to lean on. These here are really good because they're really soft foam. So if you're doing any weeding, can't recommend one of these here enough. So look, let me show you this surefire way. Works 100% with all weeds, any weeds, and it's 100% organic. Doesn't take anything, to, well, takes very, very little to do. Let's do that now. Okay, my next way to get rid of weeds, not very high tech this here, you could nearly say that we're going back to the stone ages for this one. So it's all it involves is blocking out the light. So say for example, you have a dandelion, I'm gonna be doing it on a dizzy here, but say for example, you have a dandelion, it has that big top root on it. So if you dig, as we discussed, if you dig out the, the weed and you leave a bit there, then there's a good chance that the weed's gonna regrow. So the best thing to do is just to block out the light. That involves putting a plant pot or something similar on top of it. Okay, so there's obviously a downside to this method. That plant pot's not very big, and if you have a big square section or you have a big section of weeds, well then that's not really gonna do it. So I'm gonna show you another trick. That's where stones and our plastic come in. This area here that has some dandelions on it. This is a section of lawn that we fixed on how to fix a bumpy lawn. If you want to watch that video, make sure to watch it here and I'll see you there next.